What's up, both fam? My name is Karen Fire, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. Today, we're going to be looking at a very interesting thrall called Hannah of Bosnia. She is a relic hunter faction thrall that can craft you flawless relic hunter gear and flawless Aquilonian medium gear. So, with that being said and done, we're going to be looking at her locations today, and we're starting off in the great city of Sepri. So, let's get into it. Starting off with our first location, we have her right here. This is by one of the main gates with a flag and stuff uh, in the area, and she will be crafting an armorer's table. Quite an easy place to find. And most of her locations, actually pretty much all of them, will be in the city, so we'll be focusing around here today. So as you can see, I'm right here, waterside. Moving on to our next Hannah of Bosnia location, she is right here overlooking the city below and you can see the bar just below that. You can see her just staring out there. This area is near the set altar at the top and near the little altar there as well. If you were to look on the map you can see it's pretty much right bang on the temple quarters nearly just to the side there. Now if we come down from the altar into the main kind of centre area just down from here you can see another Hannah of Bosnia talking to this person by the tent. This is also a spawner for her so you can kind of farm her in this location as well. The great thing about farming Hannah is that she's all kind of in the same location so you kind of get the farming done a lot easier because you can just go around quick and not into multiple locations. So this will be right here in the market center. Now if we have to come down to the dock a little bit behind the market kind of where the wine cellar dungeon is just to the right you can find another two spots for Hannah to spawn. She spawns on both ends of these docks, as well as a number of other Sepmaru kind of uh, T4s can spawn on these docks. So they're worth farming out. Um, my only thing with this is I would pull them off the dock and bring them up if you can, or at least the shoreline right here if you want to knock them out, because I think if you do it near the water right here, they will drop in and you might lose your thrall, which would not be ideal. So just bear that in mind and here is the location on the map just right in this little corner right here. Coming down further into the city there is another Hannah of Bosnia talking to a person right in this location. It's right by the gate where you can go and get an emote from a person there. This is the kind of area you're looking for. If we look up on the map you can see it's like right bank on the city sign, blue little star thing. So that's her location there. Another possible spawner for her as well is these two spots right here. You can get armor spawning on them, so you can get her as well in these two locations. Which is pretty much right here on the end of the city, on the uh, house here. This is kind of the area, you can see Rasmus Quarters right there. And that gives you a small idea about that place. Another area you can get a Hannah is right here. These two people having a conversation, she can spot on the right in that location where the guy is groveling towards the lady and this kind of area is just down the street from the other place we just looked at. So that is right here on this location here. Moving on to the outskirts of the city just outside the prison area right there. There's also another spot for her to spawn at. She will be spawning on the right next to the flag in that area and there's another spot for her there. Just, below, just in between these little stars here, she is right there on my player marker. And that is pretty much all of her spots that are currently available on the map. So all in the set city area, you can find a Hannah of Bosnia. Now we're going to be talking about what she makes, what it costs to craft what she makes, and stuff like that. Now Hannah will work in both uh, normal armor event and improved, but beware. You can make normal flawless in that one, but you can make epic flawless in that one, and there is a difference. So there is more armor if you were to make it with these kind of materials than the one over there. Considering you'd probably want the best of the best if you're going to put the effort in and get one of these, I want to show you the crafting cost of the epic flawless. Starting off with the flawless Aquilonian braces, we have one perfected medium gauntlet lining, 22 iron bars, and 7 hardened leather. The flawless Aquilonian chest plate, we have a perfected medium chest padding, 22 iron bars and 7 hardened leather. For the helmet, we have a perfected medium helmet padding, 22 iron bars and 7 leather. 
For the sandals, it's perfected medium boot lining, 22 iron bars, and 7 hardened leather. And for the tassel, it is a perfected medium leg and lining, 22 iron bars, and 7 hardened leather, so pretty much all the same crafting costs. Now we're moving over to the Relic Hunter in Flawless Epic Grade. We're going to start off with the Hunter Boots. It is a perfected light boot lining, 15 thick hide and 4 layered silk. For the Relic Hunter Gloves, it is a perfected light gloves lining, 15 thick hide and 4 layered silk. For the Flawless Relic Hunter Shirt, it is a perfected light chest padding, 15 thick hide and 4 layered silk. And for the Relic Hunter Trousers, it is a perfected legging lining, light legging lining, 15 thick hide and 4 layered silk. And finally, for the Relic Hunter Turban, it is a perfected light helmet padding, 15 thick hide and 4 layered silk. Now, if you don't know how to make layered silk or leather for that matter, you pretty much just, it's easier if you take this out. You can see there are several recipes here. Make hardened leather, it is leather, thick leather, alchemic base and oil, and to make layered silk it is silk and alchemic base. To actually be able to get the stuff for this, like the uh, feet, you need to go in your armor tab and you actually need to learn XO epics, and you can see they're included in the bottom. So you will need this anyway to get the improved armor's bench, so it should be all and ready there for you. And you will need the previous feats as well to be able to learn this. This means getting the hidden Relic Hunter armor stand, which I'll show you where to get it in a minute. And that also means learning the Great Civilization's armor. So you can see that is the medium set in this armor category. So there you go. And just in case you were going to make the cheaper version, I thought I'd quickly just briefly show you. I'm not going to talk about crafting costs, but you'll be able to see them on the screen. They don't need perfected anything, it's just like medium and a bit of hide from something. So for the Acronian stuff, it's like steel and rhino hide you'll need throughout the set for this kind of thing if you want it in normal flawless. And if we were going to look at Relic Hunter stuff, so here we go. That's just silk and normal light lining, so as you can see there, quite simple recipe to make. So just bear in mind there can be a difference and that can be applied throughout normally so let's have a look at how they look now starting off with the epic flawless aquilonian kind of look here i really like this set honestly it was one of my favorites with the helmet being all spartan and stuff like that but it's a really lovely set same applies when you turn it into the male version and you can see it's got a lot bigger the skirt is a little bit longer but there you go there's the spartan kind of look this armor will give you 455 armor, it's a medium set, and it will give you two bars of heat protection throughout the whole entire set. It gives you a plus 9 in agility, so if you're looking to be an agile person, then this armor is very good for that. Now moving on to the Relic Hunter, if you really want to look like you belong in Set City, then this is kind of the look. <laughs> you have the backpack on the back, this is the male showing it off right now. And this is the female version here. You see the little curly shoe, she also has a backpack. Um, and there you go, that's the look. Now if we go into the inventory, it is a light set 160 armor. And it also has two bars of heat protection. Now this armor is quite different because it gives you a mixture of things. It gives you plus four in encumbrance and plus five in survival. So it is quite good if you want to use it as a farming set, so you could go for survival and put it up to hard worker perk. And then for encumbrance you can have the uh, weight all the way up, so it is a nice uh, set to make if you want to go farming in. Now quickly, if you don't know where the Relic Hunter hidden armor is, I already did a hidden armors video, but I do need to update it because it's getting quite old now. You can see right here there is the big middle piece, but here is Rasmus Quarters, right here, with the half open door. If you didn't know, just a little tip, if you have a Rasmus key from the Witch Queen, that's the door you open. But we're not interested in that for today, we're actually going up to see this little mannequin here, and we're going to click on it, and there you go, it will give you the Relic Hunter armor and the Relic Hunter epic. And that's how you get those. And for a map reference, here it is. It's on top of the house right there, so there you go. 
But anyways, I hope this video helped. If you would like to see other videos like this, then I do have some linked to my Conan Exiles playlist below, or if you search Car on Fire and then the full name, you'll probably find one of them as well. If you have any suggestions for thralls you'd like to hear from, I'm going to be doing a bunch of them, but if you'd like them to be put in front of the list, then I can prioritise different thralls to show off in different videos. And I just want to say a quick thank you for anybody putting out suggestions and stuff like that on improving these videos and whatever else I do. I do appreciate constructive criticism and it is very good to hear back from you. Just like the person who suggested male and female thing, I thought that was a brilliant idea, so thank you. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching, I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!